So is this like a neural network? While there are certainly similarities, a neural network basically interacts with a small set of immediate neighbors, and so does a cell within a cell matrix. A neural network takes inputs from its neighbors, combines them in a certain way to produce outputs which get passed on to the next layer of neighbors, and that's similar to how cells operate. But in a cell matrix, the inputs to a cell come from all sides, and the outputs go to all sides, so you don't have the same unidirectional flow that you normally find in a neural network. Additionally, a neuron basically does a weighted combination of inputs to generate the outputs, but a cell can do any mapping that you want from inputs to outputs. They're simpler in some ways than neurons, but in some ways they're also more versatile. Now you can implement a neural network on top of a cell matrix, and this has been done by a number of different groups, but um, I would say that the architectures themselves are fundamentally different. Similarly, a cellular automata has some things in common with a cell matrix. Again, the nearest neighbor interconnect, and the fact that um, the state of a cell is determined by the inputs coming in from its neighbors or from the states of its neighbors. But in a CA, the state update table is usually global across the entire collection of elements of cells. Whereas in a cell matrix, the way that one cell responds to its inputs can be very different from how another cell responds. In other words, each cell has basically its own rules for mapping inputs to outputs. Whereas in a CA, you generally have a global state transition table. Also, a cell matrix is fundamentally asynchronous. Now there's a clock which is used when you're programming cells in the cell matrix, but when cells are operating in D mode in their data mode, it's a data flow model. Inputs change into outputs and those flow into inputs of neighboring cells, and there's nothing synchronous. There's no inherent clocking to it. You can add a clock, but if you don't actually build a clock line yourself, everything is pure data flow. Um, there's also similarities to things like systolic arrays, but again, um, the difference is, is that the cells of the cell matrix are completely configurable. You can reprogram them to perform any functions that you want. And again, you could take a collection of cells and use it to form an element of a systolic array, connect those together, and implement a systolic array. But the cell matrix is really intended to be a very generic, very low-level platform on top of which you can build all of these and a number of other structures. So I'd say those are the biggest differences between a cell matrix and some of these other kinds of um, highly parallel nearest neighbor interconnect systems.